Hello everyone. So this is the summary of the poem "When You Are Old" by William Butler Yeats. This poem was published in Yeats' second collection, "The Rose," in 1893. In this poem, the speaker is addressing a lady who is more gone, most probably, with whom he was in love throughout his life. So this is the text of the poem. When you are old and grey and full of sleep and nodding by the fire, take down this book and slowly read and dream of the soft look your eyes had once. and of their shadows deep so when the poem opens we get to know that the speaker of this poem addresses a woman and asks her to imagine a time when she will be old and at that time she will have gray hair and she will feel tired all the time okay and then he asks another question now he actually uh, asks her to read a book when they are about to fall asleep by the fireside when she will be old she will miss her beautiful appearance and her charming eyes and which would appear like a dream to her at that time because at that time she would have grown old and she would miss her young days come to the next lines how many loved your moments of glad grace and loved your beauty with love falls or true but one man loved the pilgrim soul in you and loved the sorrows of your changing face and now he says that when she will have grown old she will also remember that how many people loved her beauty and her gracefulness and whether or not these people were true in their love for her at that time she will also know that there was a man who loved her soul rather than you know her body now the poet is making reference to himself that she will remember when she will be old that there was a man who actually loved her soul rather than her body and his love for her won't be affected by time and place and he will keep on loving her even when her beautiful face will change okay with the passing of the years when she will be full of sorrow with the passing of her age come to the next lines and bending down beside the glowing bars murmur a little sadly how love fled and paced upon the mountains over her over hat and hid his face amid a crowd of stars and now poet says that at that time this woman would sit by the fireside and would speak softly that how love ran away from her and hidden itself in the mountains and in the stars and here the poem ends <laughs>